Love is the best. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and today I'm doing the very last episode on 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and what it says about love. And this has been a really long series, and, and I don't know if you've been following along in your Bibles, but 1 Corinthians chapter 13, it's, it's really not that big of a, of a chapter, but it is so packed full of goodness. In the very last part of chapter 13 in 1 Corinthians, it says, And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. And it is. It so is. Because, you know, at the very beginning of this series, we talked about how we are nothing without love. And we talked about, you know, how if you if you can speak with the tongues of men and angels, like if you're great at speaking, but, but you don't have love, you're just, a, you're just a loud, annoying noise. And it said that if you have the gift of prophecy and you can understand all the mysteries in all the world, every little thing, you, you just get it. And you have so much faith that you can move a mountain, but you don't have love, you're nothing. And if you give everything that you have to the poor and you even, you even die for the sake of God, but you don't have love, you don't gain anything. And then all throughout this series, we've been talking about what love is and what it isn't and what it does and doesn't do. And, and last time we talked about how love never fails. Like you cannot beat love. But love never fails also means that love isn't going anywhere. Just about everything ever will pass away. And here in this world, what we, what we have and what we know and what we, we feel and what we understand is just, it's just like a shadow, right? We don't fully understand like we will understand when God makes all things new, when perfection comes. Have you ever like looked back on your life to when you were really little and thought, man, I just did not get it, right? And you feel like, I, I understand things now, but when I was little, I, I did not understand things at all. Like when I watched the shows that I used to love when I was a kid, I was like, man, this is so like basic and kind of silly, and in heaven, it's going to be like that. We're like, we're going to look back on our life and be like, man, we did not even, we did not even begin to understand the stuff that we thought we did understand. Right? First Corinthians says that when perfection comes, like when we are in heaven, when all things are made new, we will fully know all the stuff that we, you know, only partly know now. And we will know it just like we are fully known. God knows every little thing about us. And someday he's going to reveal every little thing to us. And it's interesting because, you know, a lot of the stuff that we talk about where it's like, you know, you can't take it with you, like your stuff, your, you know, your things, like my, my toys and stuff, I can't take that with me. But it's also stuff that I can lose here on earth, right? It's something that could be taken away from me. But there are three things that people can, they just can't take away from you. You know, like if, if some bad government came and they, they took all your stuff, they can't take your faith in God and they cannot take your hope in his return and they cannot take love from you. These three remain no matter what, faith, hope, and love. And faith is, faith is simply just believing in something you can't see. So for us as Christians, our faith is in Jesus Christ. I've never seen Jesus, but I have faith in him. I believe in him. I know that he is my savior. Faith is very, very important. It's very foundational. The first thing you have to do if you want to follow God is, is believe that he's there, right? Believe that he's real. And the Bible says that if you believe in Jesus, you will have eternal life. That's like the, that's the most important thing. That's step one. Believe in Jesus as your savior. And hope is very similar to faith because it is believing in something that you can't see, but it's not just something that you can't see. Hope is believing in something that, that has not happened yet, right? Like I believe that Jesus died for me, even though I don't see it. That's something that happened a long time ago. That's faith. Hope is looking to the future. I have hope, I believe, I have faith that Jesus will come again and he'll make all things new and I will live forever with him in heaven. That's hope. And so faith and hope are very, very important, but love is even more important. Because even though faith and hope are both spiritual things that, that cannot be taken away from you, you know, even if the whole earth blew up, if you, if you were still alive, you could still have faith and hope even if you had literally nothing else. But that doesn't mean that faith and hope are going to last forever. The rewards for faith and the rewards for hope, those will last forever. But you know what? When we're standing face to face with Jesus, when we are enjoying our eternity with him, we're not going to have faith and we're not going to have hope. 
because we won't need it. He'll be right there. But love, love is for here and now, just like faith and hope are, but love is also for all eternity. Love never fails. Love never ends. When we love God and we love our neighbors, it's like we're getting a, like getting a head start on eternity. We're getting a sneak peek. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 has been telling us all kinds of stuff about what perfect love is. And it, it, that's like, it's sort of like a command for a lot of those things, like you should do this, but it's also, it's also like, you know, looking through the keyhole and getting to see heaven. It's what heaven will be like. And we can bring a little bit of heaven to earth by loving the way God has called us to. And all the pain and all the suffering and all the, the sin of this world will not come with us to heaven. But all the love will. Love never fails. Love is the greatest. So yeah, it's a good thing to like look forward to heaven, but we can also bring heaven down to earth with love. And we're still going to mess up. We're still not going to get it exactly right, but we can get a little taste. And we can share a little taste with others. So my challenge to you guys today at the end of this long series about love, my challenge is that you would love. It's as simple as that, and it is as complicated and difficult as that. Love. Love God and love other people. It's literally the only thing that you can have for all eternity. I really hope that you will have faith in Jesus Christ. You will believe in God. And I hope that you will have hope. You will look forward to his coming. And I really, really hope that you will love. Because without love, we're nothing. But with love, we can get a taste of what heaven is really like. And we can and should absolutely share that with others. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. And wow, yeah, this was a long series. And it's, again, it's not even really that long of a chapter. But it is so full of good and important stuff that we can use in our lives. To make our own lives better and to make other people's lives better too. To better be the people God has made us to be. And hey, again, thank you so much for sticking with me through this long, long series. It's been really fun to do. And hey, I don't know if you know this or not, but we've started making a switch to free downloads. So if you want to if you want to download this video or any of the other videos on love or you know every new video that we make is going to be free to download. It used to be that we sold them and we still sell them in some places, but if you'd like to download these videos, we want to make sure that you can. And because we make the videos free to download, we really especially rely on those of you that support us monthly, like like our patrons. Thank you so much to all of you for helping to keep Douglas Talks going. We could not do this without you. And if you would like to support Douglas Talks and, and you don't yet, you can check out patreon.com slash Douglas Talks and you can you can get your name or in you know your picture or something over on the side with the rest of those people. Or you can go to our website and learn other ways that you can help support us financially. It really makes a big, big difference. Even just a teeny, teeny, tiny amount is a really big deal. So seriously, again, thank you to all of you who helped support this ministry, this channel, these videos. We could not do this without you. Thank you all so, so much for your support.